what's going on is as soon as we changed to the regular performer RPM, the carburetor was having difficulty metering right at 2500 RPM at wide open throttle right when we start the dyno test. And we can't exactly figure out why. It's uh, not really intuitive why that would happen because it didn't do it with the RPM air gap. So we're a bit conflicted about whether our problem with it not metering at 2500 at wide open is because it has so much airspeed that it's pulling a lot of fuel and it's just going fat and misfiring or if it's because the airspeed is so slow that the fuel is just dripping and not atomizing. With this open spacer on here, in theory, if the airspeed is too slow, this will make it worse, right? Yeah. So let's see. Uh, okay, pretty much that was way better and it just laid down a number almost exactly what we saw with the RPM air gap. See right here what we were seeing is super fatness that was just killing the curve, but with the one inch open spacer it took care of it and gave us a little bit more top end. Alright, the plot thickens. Us being the clever little gearheads that we are, had a look at the RPM air gap intake manifold and noticed that they have split the divider wall in the plenum here at Edelbrock. That's a factory piece. So we're going to go chuck this sucker into the lathe and we're going to knock the plenum wall out of this one to see if it solves the bottom end power and makes as much top end without having to use the one inch spacer. Ooh. Oh, fixed it. Yep. Look at that. Right here we fixed the problem that we had at the bottom end. This is the stock intake and this is the one with the plenum divider milled out a little bit and we matched the power up top. But if you now lay over the air gap on top of it, you can see that this is nearly as good. The air gap is, is that much better right there. You're trying to build you look the at, ultimate, looks like a stalker yeah. combo where nobody's gonna know you've modified anything. The original Performer RPM with our milled down plenum space divider is yep. the way to go. Yep, and put the factory fill tube in the front, painted yep. orange, put 283 valve covers on it, and uh, we'll be heroes. This, this, uh, do you want to put a one-inch spacer on this thing and just see what it'll do? Okay, one-inch open spacer going in on our final pull to see if we can make just a little more power. That was a good torque number. <laughs> Air gap average versus us with the spacer. But the thing you gotta say in the test we're not gonna get to is that the air gap with a one inch spacer will outrun this. True. I know it, I've done it too many times. That, and so is Steve. Right. Steve, tell me I'm right. You're right, dude. I'm right, <laughs> Steve, Steve says I'm right. I know, no, I know you're right. <laughs> and, it, and it's not that, the, that running it this way with the Performer RPM is you know just better. It's just that if you're trying to pull that- Stealth look, thing. Yeah. yeah, look off, you can't. <laughs> Okay, this was pretty good. The first thing that we learned today is this little 350 Chevy, even with 11 to 1 compression and a 248 at 50 solid cam, it really liked the Performer RPM air gap dual plane intake better than the Victor Junior single plane. The other thing we found out is that when you put a standard Performer RPM on this thing, with the solid plenum divider in that, it will not pull down to 2500 with this big giant cam. But what we really wanted to do is take this Performer RPM and modify it to look stock. So we had to make it make more power. We looked at the air gap and we saw that the plenum wall was cut out on it. So we modified this one, totally cleaned up our bottom end problem with it, but didn't quite have the top end power we were looking for. So then we added a one inch Wilson, Wilson aluminum spacer, which brought our power almost to the same level as that air gap intake. I wish we'd gotten to the very last thing, which would have been to put the one inch spacer on top of the air gap, which would have made the most power overall. But we found the results we were looking for with our more stock looking intake manifold.